Welcome to Think A Bit, I'm Joe King, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing antenna safety. Has your antenna been being bad? Does it need to be grounded? I'm going to teach you how to do it in this video. We all know the having have came, and the having is here now. So it's important to get a good antenna and set it up correctly and safely and how important it is you guys gotta learn how to ground your antennas I mean it's really dangerous having them not grounded and uh, in this video I'm gonna tell you how to ground them and why you should ground them now let me tell you about this story now I was going on a little vacation I hired a private jet and I was going down to Miami and then all of a sudden I'm just relaxing, having a drink, and all of a sudden, the plane just starts taking a nosedive. So I kick in the cabin door, and then I see my pilot. He's all fainted out, fainted out in the pilot seat. So I grab him, throw him on the floor. Then I jump in there. Luckily, I'm a pilot, too, and we're so down low. We're at maybe like 200 feet, 100 feet. We just keep almost crashed, but luckily, I start pulling it up pulling up on the sticks you know if you're a pilot you know what that means I start pulling up pulling up then all I see all these poles everywhere these white poles everywhere I'm and it's I can't really see because there's like no lights on them so it's getting right up in front of me I have like a second to make a decision left or right so I keep on going to the left dodging oh shit another one go to the right I mean it's crazy come to think of it they're all helium antennas everywhere. All these helium antennas. Because we were in the suburbs. All of a sudden there's all these houses everywhere. All these white antennas everywhere. So I'm like like going to the left. Going to dodging all these antennas. Finally I see a little empty parking lot. I land a plane down. Call an ambulance for the pilot. I guess he had some experimental medical procedure. I don't know. I told him not to do it. But he went out and got that experimental you know, medical thing. And then next thing you know, he's fainted off in the pilot seat. So it was scary, man. It was, if I wasn't such a good pilot, I don't know if I'd be here. You guys, if you're putting antennas on your roof, you got to put like lights on them. You got to put some reflectors on them. Maybe some little blinking red lights, how they do like uh, on buildings and towers. You can't just be sticking up these poles everywhere and not having no lights on it and reflectors. That being said, I think everyone needs to ground their antenna. It's, I mean, it's pretty easy to do. You just go up on your roof, unscrew the screws, take your antenna, and stick it in the ground. It's more safe down there anyway. You don't got to worry about lightning hitting it and catching your house on fire or nothing. You just take that antenna down and stick it right in the ground. If you guys are not going to be safe about it, you guys need to go ground your antennas. You can't just be sticking them on your roof all on safe. Think about like helicopters. What well, if there's a medical emergency? They need to zoom in the neighborhood, pick up, airlift somebody. And you have all these white poles everywhere. It probably could crash into one. You can't have all these white poles up everywhere. Just because they're white don't mean you can see them at nighttime. I mean, put a light on it. Is it that hard? So... Hopefully this gives you something to think about to be more safe because the safety first It's not all about padding your pockets. Oh, I'm gonna get the biggest hugest antenna stick it on my roof a hundred feet up in the air On top of my hundred feet house. I mean it seems like I was almost it seems like there's like roller coasters everywhere It's reminding me like a cedar point. I was like all these high-ass poles metal poles everywhere I was dodging all of them though pretty good, but Think about safety. It's not about, I mean, come on, the halfing's here. The earnings are down. And uh, so it's not, don't be so greedy. If you haven't looked into grounding your antenna, I think you, you should strongly consider it. All right. That's all I have for you to get. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. This is Joe King signing out.